Okay, looks like Camilla's gonna go. Regulator's open full. Cause I'm just waiting for her to pick up some pressure. She'll take off with a couple of pounds, five pounds. It's got a standard regulator, a standard safety valve, standard regulator. She's got ball bearing axles, all ball bearing. Everything else is standard. She's got a, a, a alcohol burner with only two burners running because she's got a good oiler in it. And um, with a good oil means everything seals. You don't have to play with making sure all your surfaces are perfect. Because the oil's what seals it. If you don't have a good oiler, none of this stuff will seal and you'll be leaking little bits everywhere. Same as a two stroke motorbike, gotta have oil in the petrol. And um, I'll maybe give it a little push. There we go. She's taking uh, the new Elizabeth. Elizabeth's over there. She's not run yet because she's got uh, no lubricator. That's actually a hill climb to that point. Yeah, it's downhill. That's uh, Elizabeth. Uh, uh, Camilla. This is Camilla. Camilla is now consort to the king. Oh, she was only a um, workhorse before. Camilla runs normally. They're her little wagons because she's a little worker. And um, Elizabeth obviously just takes around dignitary, so she's got a coaches. Camilla's taken uh, her coaches for a run. And uh, she won't slow. She, she won't stop. She'll just if she slows down, she just builds pressure and then keeps moving. But uh, the boards, because it's windy today anyway. But the boards are actually because I was running Bassett and Loki uh, Locos, which don't like the breeze as much as the Mammoths or the MSS. They don't mind a little bit of breeze. You can see, it's, and it's only uh, what is it? It's 18 degrees C today, 18 degrees C, and we're taking uh, Elizabeth's new coaches, these are all brand new, 300, how much was it, 750 for the coaches as kits, and Elizabeth pre-built, and the, and the um, alcohol burner, delivered to Australia, 750 bucks. And uh, Camilla's running on two burners, which the wicks are level with the um, the tube, so they're not even hanging out. And yeah, I chopped the front one off because I just didn't need it. It was ripping around too hard. And they're they're her her carriages, so so there's no need to um, have it going any faster than that. As I said, if you stop her, she just build up pressure and take off. Oh, oh, I'm lying. I'm lying. Elizabeth Avenue.
you can see the oiler is um, in between the cylinder and the front wheel upside down so I unscrew the bolt, turn it, flip it over and um, screw it all, screw it up and put it on the crack. That's straight into the um, cylinder now. Works really good the, the lubricant. Yeah, once he's warmed up, he's good. Oh, well, even cold, he's good. I'll show you that it's got no pressure. Let's just build a little bit. Yeah. Oh, if I can get it just move to no, no, we don't want to do that. We're building pressure. Alright, just stay there. And go. So we know we're near the safety valve. No, we're near it. If I, if I hold it off to the safety valve, to be flying off the track. And that, what's that, 14 pounds? To drag those carriages and flip the whole lot off the tracks. And that's no foot circuit. And I'll just let it go. See, that's purely flame power. If I pull the wicks out a little bit more, it should give it a bit more power. That's they're right there. The flames not strong. Doesn't need it. It's nothing marking. Everything's shiny. Runs beautiful. Four bearings. The wheels got re-flanged to suit this track, so I'll re -flange. I'll cut the wheels a little bit, about a millimetre or deeper. And ball bearings, and it lubricated, it works. The ones that sit up on top don't work. I'd come uh, off the back. And then mount one in the cab. If I was buying one, I'd get the cab mounted one, but the line that runs all the way forward, at least, you know, you're getting oil. That front mounted one, that's just garbage, doesn't it? Good little girl. Uh, could probably pull the wicks out a little bit. Yep, she's done. 